a few years ago, it was nothing more than science fiction. Bionic eyes that let the blind see. Today, they're a reality. In one case, a man saw his wife for the first time in three decades. The company that makes these bionic eyes, Second Sight, went public yesterday. And with us today is Second Sight CEO, Dr. Robert Greenberg, and Larry Hester, that same man who regained his, uh, regained his vision after going blind more than 30 years ago. Bob, I'll get to you in a moment. I have to turn to you first, Larry. Tell us what it's like. It's incredible. For 33 years, like you said, no vision whatsoever. And then all of a sudden, just a, a few months ago, this light comes on and it, it's just remarkable. I see flashes of light. And prior to that, there was nothing. So even though it's so basic and elementary, it's flashes of light, and that means that I can see something. And All right, Larry, I want to share with the audience the first time you got to see your wife yes. after 33 years. We have the video. Stay here. Larry, what can you see right now? Uh, nothing. Nothing now. <laughs> Everybody ready? Okay. So three, two, one. Start stimulation. Yes. Oh my goodness. Wow. Can you see yes. Oh my goodness. Can I give a yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. Can you really see? Yes. Oh, my flash goodness. Big time flash. Larry, did you oh ever God. think in your lifetime this was going to happen? No, not in no way. Uh, not in my lifetime did I ever dream there would be a medical breakthrough like this and how fortunate I am. I, it's just incredible. And, and what's even more exciting is what's coming in the future and and i firmly believe that second sight is working diligently to make oh what's coming oh i firmly believe they're going to restore sight to blind people eventually eventually bob is that possible uh, absolutely i mean i think you know larry is a good example of uh, the technology what we're able to do today and patients we're able to help today and with this uh, new fundraising, we're planning on doing additional R&D, not only to improve the quality of vision for folks like Larry, but to expand it to other uh, forms of blindness, in fact, eventually to all forms of blindness. Well, How many other blind? Larrys are yeah. out there? How many cases are there like this that, you, that have already been this successful? Uh, so we, we've been planning about 90, 90 patients so far, and, uh, and the, the majority have had results very similar to Larry's, and, uh, and we're, uh, we're planning on doing... What's your realistic goal? What do, you're going to raise this money... What do you want to achieve realistically? Uh, realistically, we want to, uh, with, this, uh, with this fundraising, our plan is to get to several important milestones. And one is uh, for not only of software improvements to the uh, device that Larry has. So it's, the device is upgradable, similar to an iPhone, where you can upgrade the software. And so our plan is to get new versions of software uh, into versions of Larry's implant, as well as a new version of the implant that will actually go in the So what Larry the has, you're saying you want to improve? Absolutely, and we're going we're gonna to make improvements to what we're on the 14th version of the software today, and, uh, and we're going to keep going with that. Tell us how it works. So there's a, pair, there's a video camera in, in, glasses, uh, in the bridge of the glasses, and that information from that video camera is wirelessly transmitted to an implant that's implanted in and around his eye. And once the, the implant is in, it uh, essentially becomes part of his eye. I mean, if you look at him, you can't see the implant. You can't tell it's there. He can't feel it. People. But this is for a very specific type yeah. of blindness. How broad is it? How many people can it affect? Yeah, so today the device is approved uh, in the United States for a disease called retinitis pigmentosa. And, and that's about, what you have? Yes. And there are about 100,000 patients in the U.S. with retinitis pigmentosa. And our, we just got approval from the U.K. government to begin a clinical trial for macular degeneration. And we're working on a version of the implant that, that we believe, by, putting, by bypassing the optic nerve, will be able to treat all blindness. You can, so that's the, people go blind for many different reasons, mm -hmm. but so long as you can tap into the optic nerve, it doesn't matter how, for the most part, someone lost his or her sight? Right, so for the current version of the device, uh, it can only treat retinal diseases, so it, the optic nerve has to be intact. But for this next version of the device that we're beginning to work on, where we bypass the optic nerve, it should be able to treat... You can go directly to the brain. Open. Correct. How much exactly. does this cost? So the device in the United States is uh, a little under $145,000. Does insurance cover any of it? Uh, we do have uh, coverage from a number of both private insurers, and uh, we've had a number of cases covered uh, by Medicare as well. So if you're able to tap directly into the brain to reproduce a sensory experience, is the technology that you're developing adaptable 
to other sensory deprivations. Yeah, so the original idea was uh, started with another company, Advanced Bionics, that uh, our founder, Al Mann, founded, uh, which had a cochlear implant for the deaf. It was a device that restored hearing to the deaf. And so this was really an extension of that idea. That, uh, and, and we do think that once we have our, our, our brain interface, that we'll be able to do quite a bit more uh, for other diseases. Why go public? You know, I think you know, part of the reason for our decision for us to go public is actually right here, that we're sitting here that would get the word out for other patients like Larry and uh, people know about the technology. And Why? Because are there other patients like Larry who simply don't know about it? I would guess if I were blind for 33 years, I'd be really tapped into what you're doing. I'm just guessing. We, we, would, we would have thought so. And in fact, when the FDA approval was announced, we had about a thousand patients call us directly. Um, and I think uh, so Larry might have been one of them. And uh, How did you, then we have to ask Larry, what's your story? How did you find out about this? Well, How did it happen? Reading through the uh, newsletter from the Foundation Fighting Blindness, and it said the FDA had approved a device that was sounded exactly like for me for retinitis pigmentosa and and it seemed that I met the criteria so the next day I called second sight talked directly to them and and indeed they said well it sounds like you will meet the criteria did and you think this was ever going to happen when you first saw the new take us from when you first read the newsletter till today did you read it and think boom I'm gonna be seeing my wife in a few weeks or was this so far off no, it was not far off because Gary at Second Sight said, well, uh, we're moving on this and we're setting up sites throughout the U.S. and we're going to have at least 13 and, and it's coming. You may have to be patient. We'll, we'll get back with you. And so certainly within a year and a half, it all came to, to pass. I had mine at the Duke Eye Center with Dr. Paul Hahn and... And uh, it's been pretty incredible. But Bob, I don't want to trivialize in any way the work that you're doing to help patients like Larry, but is it possible that some of the technology that you're developing could be applied to other industries? Now, like, again, not to trivialize it, gaming. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the, I mean, for me personally, uh, one of the inspirations was the, uh, of course, Steve Austin and the Bionic Man years ago. But, really? You know, we're, we're, we're obviously a long way from being able to do that, but uh, I think, you know, direct, direct interfaces uh, are probably in the future. I don't know how, but they're probably in the future. Probably quite a ways. Bob, thank you so very much. Bob, Congratulations. Bob Greenberg, oh, thank you. Uh, the doctor who's the CEO amazing. of Second Sight amazing. and Larry Hester. Thank oh, my God. Man who's amazing. For the first time it is amazing. It truly is amazing. It tr truly is amazing stuff. Larry, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, what an extraordinary conversation. Wow. I'm glad I don't sell bonds for a living anymore. This was just about the best thing I have ever experienced. There you go. Coming up, you got to do it. <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, some of the small things speak volumes about the economy. We're going to take a look at hotcakes. Are they still selling like hotcakes?